Thank you. I don't know about you, but thank God baby dogs are Republican. Thank you, fellow Republicans, and thank you to the great state of Indiana for making me your nominee to be the next United States Senator. Only in America could a kid like me who was born in a trailer park, the son of a factory worker and a nursing home cook, end up here. I'm Jim Banks, and I have lived the American dream, and I'm proud of it. But the biggest difference today between Republicans and Democrats is that we believe America is the greatest country in the history of the world. But they don't. I got to tell you, as an Afghanistan war veteran, I've never, I've never been more ashamed than when Joe Biden's disastrous withdrawal left 13 American heroes dead, and then he lied about it. Americans want a president who is proud of their country and who they can be proud of. Joe Biden is an embarrassment. We went from the strongest president of my lifetime and President Trump to the weakest president in history in Joe Biden. We need President Trump back in the White House if we're going to make America great once again. But ladies and gentlemen, he's going to need backup in the United States Senate. This is no time for wimpy Republicans. That's why I'm running. We'll start by securing the border. If you came here illegally under Joe Biden, you're going back to where you came from under Donald Trump. My dad was a union Democrat for most of his life. Today, he's a Trump Republican. Because my dad knows that President Trump will always put American workers first. Trump was the first president of my lifetime to hold China accountable for taking our jobs. He brought manufacturing back to Indiana and boosted wages for hardworking Hoosiers. Ladies and gentlemen, Trump saved the American dream. But if we have Biden for four more years, that dream won't be there for my three daughters. So we are going to take our country back for them, for your children, for your grandchildren, for every American. My friends, I can't wait for November 5th at 6.01 p.m. Eastern Time, when the great state of Indiana is once again the first state on the board to give our electoral college votes to the greatest president of my lifetime, my friend Donald J. Trump. Thank you. God bless. Ladies and